The Incredible Hulk himself, Mark Ruffalo, has been making the rounds doing tons of interviews. Obviously, he has a few upcoming films that aren't actually MCU involved, and then he is going to be sticking around in the future of the MCU. But now he opens up about the big one that everybody wants to know about, that there's been rumors regarding, and that he's even teased himself. The Hulk versus Wolverine. So it wasn't too long ago where Mark Ruffalo said that he was going to sit down with Kevin Feige and they were going to talk about ideas that he has and that Kevin Feige has for the future of the franchise that involves the Hulk. Now obviously the Hulk is alive and well, so he's probably going to be coming back down the road. This was teased by the writers of Avengers Endgame and Infinity War as well, so I think it's safe to say if you're a betting person, bet on the Hulk being involved with the future. Obviously, the involvement of She-Hulk, naturally, he's got to make an appearance. But now, they ask him on exactly what he would like to see, and here's what Mark Ruffalo had to say. Of course, it's linked in the description down below if you guys want the full story, and up here on the screen right now. And just to quickly sum it up, he said, I'd like to see Hulk versus Wolverine. And he talks about the fact that Walt Disney now owns 20th Century Fox and all that. Now, if we just take a uh, little jump back through time, we're gonna see that throughout the existence of the MCU, Wolverine has been a constant that people that, that couldn't get their hands on Wolverine because he was a Fox property wanted that character in there. And then now that it is possible, the Hulk is still around and multiple people involved with the Hulk currently and previously have recently addressed it and even when the question was asked to Kevin Feige about the possibilities he would not say anything. This again is Kevin Feige doing what he does, Mark Ruffalo putting this out there again to see how much interest there is because if we just look at it there is no scenario in which five years from now Wolverine is in the MCU, the Hulk is running around in the MCU and we don't get that battle on the screen. I mean, it would literally lead to tons of reprints of the comics, which would be huge. Wolverine's first appearance. Of course, plenty of mini-series and storylines in current comics. And you can just imagine that trailer shot that would be the money shot of the year. And again, depending on how they handle Wolverine and what the Hulk's future holds, you could see a reality where maybe the Hulk goes crazy again, can't contain his hanger because he can't stop Wolverine. And then we get that savage Hulk again that everybody's been wanting if you didn't like what they did with him in the recent MCU films. So I think again, he's testing the waters, he's putting it out there and they're looking at how many articles you know are getting the hits, they're looking at the feedback, they're looking at what fans are saying and it's something that's going to happen. And if you look at what Kevin Feige said, we listen to fans and if there's enough demand, we put it out there and we'll see what happens. That's how Brie Larson was cast as Captain Marvel because she was fan demanded. 